Now, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar has berated the federal government over the arrest of the President of the Nigerian Labour Congress, Joe Ajairo, by the Department of State Service and the takeover of the Abuja Office of the Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, SERA. Recall that Ajairo was arrested in the early hours of Monday by the Department of State Service DSS at Namdi Azikwe International Airport, Abuja. On the same day, DSS operatives laid siege to Serap's office in Abuja. The 2023 presidential candidate of the PDP in a statement posted on his verified X account on Tuesday wrote that the escalating assault on civil society and the media by the Bola Tinubu administration are profoundly disturbing. The level of oppressive control now imposed surpasses even the harshest days of military dictatorship. The recent arrest of Mr. Joe Ajairo, president of the Nigerian Labour Congress, en route to an official event, epitomizes this regime's relentless campaign to intimidate and subdue organized labor. Let's take it there. Now, what do you make of this? Uh? You know, uh, it's, it's also the uh, one leg to what I just said a few minutes oh, ago. Yes, it's so I just want you line. to marry the marry two of them, them together. together. Yes. So, Bola Tinubu, who has suffered such fate mm. during his days in Nadeko, you know, who knows what activity is all about? All right. And who knows what about holding government accountable is all about? You know, go, uh, the Labour uh, president will not hold the government accountable by going to hold Tinubu by the hands. Mm or begin to use unlawful means on holding the present uh, account is through the means of labor agitation and making sure that the labor uh, sector is, is uh, taken care of. So if the government is in Ajero in a bad light, it is unfortunate because the days of um, the military era, which Bola Metinubu witnessed and also suffered uh, within that mix mm. it's not what we expected him to be doing look at how they they, they clamped down on sending voices look at what happened to Ajur in Gelale okay it is in the same mist because now you don't want to hack into the voice of reason mm. you don't want to hack into the voice that said Mr. President can we do it like this you are not going the right way let us do it this way set up that have been engaging even during the time of uh, Muhammad Buhari Muhammad Buhari did not take Serap to, to, to did not uh, invade Serap, did not in any way, you know, try to gag the, the voices of uh, the media Serap. and Serap. But now you can see that Bola Metinubu is coming out with another, you know, style of leadership, gagging the media, mm. gagging descending voices, gagging op those who murder. We will not be surprised if he begins to arrest the uh, opinion murders and analysts. You know, going back to the dark days of the military era. But we are not afraid. We will continue to speak through to power, no matter whose us is God. Mm. What we are here for is for the betterment of the Nigerian nation. Because if Nigeria is better, like one, one of the musicians of, um, of, the, um, of the good old days sang, that Nigeria is, will be good. If Nigeria is good, it's good for all of us. All if right. Nigeria is bad, all of us are in it together. Mm. So... By the time Mr. President understands that nobody is his enemy, okay. that nobody is doing anything to undermine his government, all we want is uh, the, the true and the, and the good governance to prevail in Nigeria. But bringing out this tactics of using, look at, okay, the, the one that have, uh, they have arrested um, Nande Kano, and the one that during the, the time they killed the, the founder of um, Boko Haram, where have we gotten to? So if they continue gagging all these uh, voices that speak through to power, it will not, it will not all go well for, for Nigerian security agencies. All right. It will not all go well for the Nigerian government to achieve whatever um, renewed hope agenda. Okay. That he has for the Nigerian masses. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Ogochuk. We're wrapping up now, but before we go, I want you to, in a few seconds, just yes. tell us you know, what's your final take on this now. And all of the stories, what's your final take? Yeah, I would have uh, loved to uh, ask the federal government to, you know, not to always wait mm. for uh, Nigerians to run into a hitch before right. they start to them, especially as it concerns the flooding in Medugri, 
the floods uh, in Meduguri, and the way that even the vice president held sway as a governor for eight years. All right. And he did not do anything conscientiously to use the ecological fund in cushioning the effect of that uh, flood, which he knows that is a yearly occurrence. And this year, it is very, very sad that it has come into, the, into this magnitude. And again, palliatives have been sent. Is that what we are waiting for? Anything that happened, we send palliatives, we send handouts, and now IDP camps has also will also be, will be opened for those who are flood victims. All right. We cannot continue Thank to go this route in Nigeria. We, we will advocate for good governance and for the government to be proactive instead of reactive. All right. Thank you so much. This is where we wrap it up on Open Conversation.